QBs yesterday. You know, I said uh, when that decision was made, we had three guys that we felt could win win football games. That hasn't changed. If the first two weeks, if anything had happened with Danny, um, you know, like in the middle of a series, either by injury or by just you know a situation that came up, a loss of a helmet, we had to plan that. I mean, that's a different thing that you have to think about now. Um, it would probably have been Kurt just because of a hostile environment on Oregon State, and then also just the first game against you and I. But uh, at halftime, just feeling where we're at, we want to give Joel a shot. Didn't really do anything to think uh, that he, he, he can't continue to get better as well. Um, I think Danny, I told him on Sunday that you know the number one reason he got the job to begin with was because of the way he took care of the football. Um, some of the things I said on Saturday are really true. So where we're going to be on this coming Saturday will really be uh, uh, how we handle the week and, and make sure we put the right guy in there. Obviously, Brett, you had a quarterback competition in camp. Is there a downside to throwing it open to another competition now? It's not really a competition. Um, I think we have a plan that we'll move forward with as coaches. Uh, it uh, is, isn't a, a thing that we're you know sitting and, wait and, and wasting time on. It's a decision that was pretty clean. I think the decision to go with Joel in the second half took about five seconds uh, when I finally was with my coaches face to face on Saturday and, and went with it and ran and obviously. Uh, to get a win. Uh, now, did we play well on all phases? No, uh, on offense. But you know, there's definitely some indications that uh, things were, were moving in the right direction from where we were a week ago to uh, to, to this past Saturday. Yeah. You mentioned you know Joel's play in the second half, but Matt said yesterday that you guys didn't ask him to do too much right. in the circumstance. How do you get a, an accurate picture of what he can do in a game setting this week in practice? Well, it, 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 obviously, whoever the starter is gets the majority of the reps. Um, I think second half we were, you know, in a tight ball game. Uh, even you know the, the the way the offense took the field the first time was different than maybe we had envisioned it. You know, it was a short punt. We get the ball in a plus fifty. Uh, really liked where we were sitting, and then we played behind the chains right away with a with a, a penalty, which was the case more than not. And that's that's obviously a tough spot to put a guy in. And then when the, when the field flipped in the fourth quarter, it just seems like we we're always playing out of our end zone or our backed up. And we're trying to get first downs by running the football. So it wasn't a realistic picture of maybe what Joel's strengths are. Yeah, what would you detail, even though you haven't seen him in a game, what his strengths are? Well, I think any of the quarterbacks, and actually I sat and visited with them all on Sunday, would admit that you know, Joel might have the best arm out of all of them, um, just strength-wise, uh, ability to throw the football. He's got great composure. Um, I think the one thing you can count on with Joel is what you call and what you – um, expect a play to see and the reactions that you would have to get from a quarterback, whether it's pre-snap reads, uh, whether it's you know reads within the play. Uh, Joel's Joel's pretty educated now. You know, obviously he's only got one half under his belt uh, as, as a as a quarterback that's out there on the field, so that's the part that's the unknown.